Today's video is going to be pretty short. We're going to be installing a Red Rock bumper on this Jeep TJ right here. The process is going to be the same for like 20 years, 87 to 06. If you have a Wrangler, um, this is the bumper right here. It is their stubby with a stinger and a winch mount. Um, nothing too special. It is 5 30 seconds um, thick plate and it's about an eighth of an inch thick uh, tubing here. Uh, weighs 75 pounds. Decent bumper. It's not, you know, something super, super hardcore for off-roading. I'm really putting it on there uh, for looks, to be honest. Um, somebody owed me some money, and I got this Jeep. I don't really need it, even though it's cool. Uh, my side-by-side -side pretty much does all the cool Jeep stuff that I need to do. So anyway, we're just going to fix this thing up with a few things like bumper and uh, fender flares and carpet kits and things like that. Um, very first thing you're going to want to do is get a Torx bits and I like to use an impact ones because then I can use my impact. These are going to be a T55. I just have two here in the top. Um, you might have another one there at the bottom. The uh, bumper is going to come with new hardware and it really is as simple as just sliding it on. So it came with some little uh, shackles but I got some red ones to match the Jeep. I don't know if I'm going to use them or if they're going to be too tacky. I'll hang them on there and see what they look like. Um, there's our T55 that we're going to use to remove those uh, bolts. As you saw, I already have my bumper off. And then we're going to need a 19 millimeter or uh, three quarter socket for the hardware that's going to install the bumper. So I'm going to use the impact for both of those. This is definitely a one person job. You should be able to knock this out in like 10 minutes. stick our hardware in. This one obviously comes with a winch mount. I don't have a winch at the moment. I don't know if I'll put one on there or not. We'll see. Okay, here we are underneath the Jeep. I know it's a little dark, but all we're going to do is just get that one started there. And we'll start our last one on our other side and we can square it up before we tighten everything down. So there's a little bit of like rust residue or something. I don't know if you can quite see, but um, some kind of rust water definitely in the powder coat. The sprinkle finish, it should definitely come out. There are a few little wear items I've noticed, like where the powder coat has kind of rubbed through already. Um, not that it's bare metal, but just something to note if you're really particular about, um, you know, like final fit and finish. I think this bumper is right about $550 after paying uh, extra for freight shipping. And um, so I don't know. It's up to you. If you think that it should be uh, better than that. Look at these tacky red D rings on there. Yeah, I don't know if they'll stay. We'll see. May leave them for a little bit, but we may take them off. Bumper is installed. This is how it looks. I think it turned out pretty good. I don't know, the red tow hooks aren't so bad. I think they're okay. I did do final torque um, of all six bolts with a ratchet instead of using the impact. Looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for a rear bumper. I think I'm just going to pow uh, powder coat um, the rear factory one with, with this same finish. Um, this Jeep does have a proper class three tow hitch. 
and I'd hate to get rid of that for the um, kind of cheap bumpers that you can buy and you can't really tow with them. You know, you can use them for um, spare tire or luggage or something, but you can't tow with those. Um, one thing I did notice was this plate, it's a tiny bit bent right here. I don't think I really care enough to mess with it. I guess I could hit it with a rubber hammer, but uh, just, just barely. I think by the time you put a winch and a fair lead on it, you definitely wouldn't know. Um, there's a few things that I do like about it. Um, the finish is good in a few spots uh, from packaging and like just being in the crate or whatever. Um, right here has kind of rubbed through a little bit. Not the end of the world, can be touched up. But I like how they did this where they um, actually used a brake press or something to bend these in. That's going to add structure to it. And then up inside here it is gusseted. I don't know if you can quite tell, but looks cool and it is also functional. But uh, yep, that is it. Not a whole lot to this video, but we'll do some more Jeep videos and uh, maybe this will help you out if you were thinking about getting one of these bumpers. Now you can see how easy it is to put on and uh, what it looks like once it's installed. So I'll go ahead and put a link down below, but uh, you could just Google this thing and find it just as fast. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.